Hello students, your instructor here, John Mandela, with another screencast. This one, uh, picking up where we left off. So in InDesign, I had uh, made some custom shape masks. So this one, out of using simple shapes, this one using pen tool and the um, you know pen and anchor point tools to move it around. And this one started as a piece of text, I converted to outlines, and then masked the image inside there. However, you can also use Illustrator to work with InDesign. So if you have some you know graphics you had made, in Illustrator, you can easily bring them into InDesign and use them as image masks there. So, I'm going to step over to Illustrator, see that I have this shape right here, it's kind of this custom shape that I had made. So, what I'm going to do is just copy it, go back to InDesign, and so move over here, and I'm just going to paste it in place. Okay, so here's my image. Then, what's great, you notice how InDesign recognizes that it's just a green shape with no fill, just like an Illustrator. So then I can just go to File, Place, grab the same image of my daughter, and she's placed inside there. So that's great. And even better, I can actually take these points, just like if it were drawn in InDesign originally, and manipulate them. So in other words, InDesign and Illustrator understand each other's uh, vector shape so that's really great. Um, I can even, you know, do things like this. If I want to give this, let's say, I don't know, a red outline. I don't know why I would, because it looks hideous. But let's say that I did. I could do that. Maybe make it a little easier to see. Something to that effect. Um, you get the idea. I can also change this if I don't want it to be a solid line. I can have it be Japanese dots. That looks absolutely awful. But again, you get the idea. Uh, another thing I can do, if I, I have already masked something in Illustrator, I can bring that over to InDesign as well and tweak it further if I desire. So I'm going to go back to Illustrator. Now let's say I have this here and I'm going to draw a shape. So I've already placed this image into Illustrator. And I have this shape here and I'm just going to select both of these, so the shape and the image that I just drew. And notice how I have to have the image on top. I'm sorry. I have to have the graphic that I created on top, and the image has to be behind. So with those both selected and overlapped in that order, I can go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. So there it is in there. And I can use my white arrow tool if I need to um, you know, move around the shape or whatever. But I can actually have more control over this using InDesign's great image placement tools. So all I'm going to do, get my black arrow tool, select this, edit, copy, just like before, go back into InDesign, I'll move this out of the way, I'll just delete it, I'm going to go to Edit, Paste, and what we'll see is that it'll come in, and it'll actually be a shape with the image already masked inside it, which is great. So here it is, and I can just move this over, I think I can tell that it's an empty shape, it has no fill um, or stroke if I want to, I can give it a fill color of yellow, let's say. Okay, that's not really what I wanted, so let's undo that. But what I should be able to do is click on this, and let's say I want to center the image and fill it proportionally. You know, all those things that I want to do. So what it's done is it's taken the graphic shape that I had created in Illustrator and has made it a lot of, as big as the image itself, which is this rectangular area. So, but it's still, if I want to, I can tweak this. So I can just click on the path here. You know, if I want to bring this back down or what have you. I can still do that because, again, it's the same vector drawing tools as Illustrator and InDesign, same as each other. So that's really fun. So all this I'm trying to show you with this video is that you can start in InDesign and make shapes and things like that, or you can start in Illustrator, make your graphics, you can even mask them in Illustrator if you're more comfortable with that, and then bring them into InDesign and either keep them as they are or continue to edit them um, as you see fit. Um, I have other videos on how to mask a graphic into text in InDesign, so I'll let you watch that. But again, have fun with this, explore, play around, see what you can do. That's all I got. Goodbye.